Hey cousins, it's been a minute, but before we jump into this video, I want y'all to take a moment to check out the description box in the comment area, and I'm leaving a link to my Buy Me A Coffee. If you would like to schedule a makeup one-on-one with me, a language arts tutorial, or just buy me a tea or a smoothie, but let's just get into this video. Y'all ready? let's go so let's start off by saying congratulations to miss riley burris on getting into nyu and finishing high school but pause can we talk about what nobody wants to talk about like her nose job that's just not contour and i'm not saying this to bash her but i'm saying this because she was already so beautiful and she's like one of the last people that I would suspect to do something like this. So I really need a statement from her or Candy. Because there was a gap in her posting. I believe it was like a month. And then she's the only one around her family wearing a mask. And then her graduation picture, she just reveals this new nose. And it's just not cute. She looks so much better with her regular born nose. Okay, let's switch gears to my girl Tamar Braxton. It's so funny. Everybody that knows me knows I love my girl Tamar. And when the news broke that she had allegedly committed, tried to commit suicide, everybody was reaching out to me like I knew her for real. Like, let me text my girl and ask. But no, on a serious note, we really want to send prayers up for her. I really don't like how some celebrities are trying to attach themselves to this situation and make the, it about them and it's kind of annoying and I don't like that but I'm sure y'all are well aware of what's going on as far as her boyfriend finding her unconscious and her being in the hospital and her family surrounding her but her sister Tawanda Braxton which is so she's she's so cool like I've been around her and she just has a really good personality she did put out a statement to tmz telling them to quit getting responses from people that are not the family she states that no one in the family has given a statement but again like i said a lot of these celebrities are tagging themselves to this situation and it is not their situation so we just need to wait on the family to respond or wait on Tamar to respond. Respect their wishes. And on to the next one. Let's talk Meg the Stallion and Tory Lanez. Again, I'm sure y'all know this story already. It's taken me forever to get something out because I just still can't wrap my head around it. But if you don't know, allegedly Tory Lanez shot Meg the Stallion in the foot. And Meg has not stated that he has done it, but kind of beat it or beat around the bush with it. And my problem with it is we talk about black women being unprotected, but you're protecting this black man. And I understand she probably needs time. She's traumatized. But at the same time, you're giving people the opportunity to speculate and come up with stories. Is it funny? Absolutely not. Do I get some of the references as far as Harlem Nights and, oh, I got shot my pinky toe? Yes. Um, but let's talk about Drea. This is the same girl that talk about her wholeness can get deleted. Talking about and making a joke about domestic violence who like she's like in her 30s I believe but she's acting like some ignorant 20 year old teenager oh shoot me in the foot like if you love me like that's not cool at all like what if Meg would have lost her life and there's a lot of celebrities making jokes like I understand every day why 50 Cent got shot nine times um Chrissy Teigen she's starting to run me the wrong way like sometimes jokes aren't necessary in that moment like sometimes just keep your comments to yourself again when meg is ready 
she will put out a statement, hopefully, and start protecting Tory Lanez. Okay, now, last but not least, let's talk about Kanye West. Our boy needs help, y'all. Like, we just got to continue to pray for him. And I want to say, it's almost like every election time, he goes through these manic episodes, which kind of has my eyebrow raised. But in a black community, we really need to uplift mental health. Like, it's still so taboo, and I don't understand it. But Kanye did take to Twitter to apologize to Kim because he was on a rampage this past week putting out tweets like he tried to divorce her. So comment down below. Do you think that Kanye and Kim will, will divorce soon? He alleged her to have slept with Meek Mill. He just been putting a lot out, talking about their kids and just really losing it. So there's speculation that he did go to the hospital for anxiety, but I don't think he stayed because there's pictures of him on a four-wheeler. So, I mean, I keep saying get him committed, but he he it's almost like if you take a a drug addict to a facility, if they're not ready for help, then it's not going to help. But Kim did put out a statement, as you can see, that I have rolling across the screen. And so, again, we just want to continue to pray for really everybody in this video because, you know, this is just a trying time for everyone.